Yo, what's going on, y'all? Welcome back to KD's Empire. And we got another interesting video today for you guys to check out. So today's video is going to be a little bit different. So it was a young lady that popped up on my radar. I don't know if it was a year ago or, or whatever, but I thought that the content was going to die down. I didn't think that it was that interesting. Anyway, it's a young lady and she's a black woman that decided to get with the white man. Hey, that's your preference. Do what you do, man. Enjoy and live your life. But to me, from the outside looking in, it seemed like they were painting or she was painting like a certain type of picture, trying to paint a certain type of narrative. And now we've given this thing enough time to unfold. And you know what? Without further ado, let's jump into the video. <laughs> Wow. So all of these videos that have been posted, these pictures and, and everything, was pretty much this young lady just, it kind of seemed like a setup, man. I'm doing all of this so eventually I can throw all of this stuff back in your face. These are the women that you are choosing to get with. This is why I tell people, pay close attention to who you decide to give your time and your attention to. Pay close attention to how those people are moving. Pay close attention to how they treat their ex, their baby daddy, their ex-husband, whatever, ex-boyfriend. I don't care. Pay close attention to how they treat them. Because, let's just say, if the shoe is on the opposite foot and you get on this person's bad side, you get on this young lady's bad side, fam, it's a chance that the same thing that she's doing to him, she will do it to you. And one of the biggest issues that I'm having, that I had with watching that is... This conversation is taking place in the front of those young children. Two grown adults, a husband and a wife, sitting there having this conversation in the front of little kids, infants, babies. You're sitting here and you, and you think that this is okay? And you're putting it on live, man. It is so many things that's wrong with this freaking picture. Bad parenting at its finest. You got the nerve to try to talk about this guy, what he had going on, you know, what you were pushing him to do. 
But ma'am, are you showing good character? Are you being a good parent by having this conversation in the front of your children? Are you, are you leading by example by putting this type of mess, because that's what it is, putting this type of mess on social media. Do you not understand that this stuff is going to live on the internet forever? People are doing, there are probably hundreds of thousands of people that are doing reactions to your content. You have, y'all have a big audience that y'all have built up. Everybody's seeing this. People are screen recording, people are reacting. This thing is gonna live on the internet forever. So that's gonna follow you. It's gonna follow him. It's gonna follow your babies. Like, what in the world is going on with these people? Like, what's going on with their heads? Like the mindset of people, it's like they don't think. You're not thinking about the bigger picture. Do you not see, do you not think that what you are doing, how you are speaking in the front of your children is not going to affect them in some way, shape, form, or fashion? You got little boys. Ma'am, you have sons. And when your young boys see the way that you are talking to this man, your husband, somebody that you decided to marry, to walk down the aisle and you know, say, listen, we're going to be together forever. You took this man's hand in marriage. Honor, obey. You ain't doing none of that. It's just disrespect after disrespect. Your boys are seeing this and you know what they're thinking? They're thinking to themselves, this is okay. This is normal. This is how a husband and a wife is supposed to act towards each other. It's okay for me to accept this from a woman because I've seen my mom do it to her husband. That's what you're putting out here. Again, you're not just doing it behind closed doors, but you're doing it for everybody. You're on a public, you're putting this on a public platform. You're going live, no editing. At all. This is just raw dog. You see everything unfolding. A combative, just extra young lady. Regardless of what that man has going on in his life, regardless of, of anything that you know you may disagree with, that's your husband at the end of the day. Why can't you sit down and have a conversation with him as an adult? As a husband and wife, why in the world do y'all feel the need to get on social media and bash each other? Because do you think that that makes you look good? It doesn't. It makes you look like an idiot. Because you chose that person. You chose to marry that person. So what does that say about you? I'm curious. I'm really curious. Listen, I, I want to hear from you guys down in the comments. What are your thoughts behind this? Because it was so many people sharing this young lady's content and saying, hey, you know, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to get me a, a such and such. But you need to understand, if you don't work on who you are as a person, if you don't work on your character, it don't matter who you get with. It doesn't matter who you get with. It's only a matter of time before your traumas and all of those other things that you should have fixed before you got into a relationship catches up with you and whoever you're dealing with. It's only a matter of time. A lot of people need to understand the common denominator in every single last relationship that you have been in is numero uno, it's you. You need to work on you because you could potentially get a good person. You could get a great person, but you're gonna end up running them off because again, you've allowed your trauma and everything just to pass, but no, nah, I'm good, I'm fine. But it flares up and it shows in things like this. Anywho, I want to hear from y'all, man. What do you guys think about this video right here? I think that this is, it's unfortunate. Like, honestly, not just for the husband and the wife, but most importantly, the children, the kids. They're seeing this thing unfold in real time. You know, you got with a young man or whatever, and y'all did whatever it is that y'all had to do. And for whatever reason, y'all went y'all separate ways. You were fortunate, you were blessed enough to find somebody that was still willing to marry you and go down that long walk, take that long walk with you. 
and somehow you figured out a way to, to mess that up. I'm curious, man. Y'all, please let me know down in the comments. Let's talk about it. You know what I mean? If it's going to be more videos that's going to be coming out about this, if it's some things that, you know, maybe they left out or whatever, y'all, please let me know. I would love to re review and do a reaction for those videos. Anyway, until the next time, man, y'all be blessed. Y'all be beautiful. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace. Blueberry, burberry, button up. Ten skin, mixed race, buttercup. Canada weather, got a bundle up. I'm trying to work, she hit my phone, she wanna, whoa.